Hi guys, now I'm going to talk about animations. Animation is very big topic, so I'll give you a quick start that how you can get started with the animation in this video. So I've created a new project by just running. If I go to my cli.angular.io and you can see that we can execute a command ng space new space the name of our application. And I ran this command and it created a new project with the name animations that was the name of my application after that um, I ran this command ng serve to start my application and my application has been started this on the port 4200 so let's get started working with animation first of all we need to uh, go to package.json and these are all the libraries that are by default fetched by uh, our uh, angular CLI when we created our application and but we need to add one more library along with these libraries and that is called animations and animation library will be used for animating different objects so I'm going to uh, press ctrl C to end the running state of my application and I'm going to use the node package manager to install the animation library so I will write npm install you can use CMD as well, but I'm using WebStorm, so it has a default terminal inside it. So that's why I'm using this terminal. So npm install at angular slash animations at latest hyphen hyphen save to add this library within this dependency object. So I'm going to press enter it's going to take some time and it's going to install this animation library within these uh, dependency objects and I'm going to show you that it will be added automatically because of hyphen hyphen save uh, I have written after this npm command if I don't write hyphen hyphen save it will be added within node modules folder but it will not be shown up within these dependencies uh, object it is very important that you add uh, the required dependencies uh, within this dependencies object because if you want to give uh, this project to someone else you, do, you will not give this node modules folder it contains uh, very big files uh, and you will not be able to send that thing instead you will just uh, uh, tell him or her that install npm install and it will automatically detect all the packages within this package or json file it's going to install automatically so our animation package has been installed and it has not been shown up uh, right now and i need to reload this file again so open this up again and i'm gonna save this one so i think i need to refresh this folder so let's open this up again and you can see that this angular slash animation library has been added and it has a version this is the latest version the four starting in every library shows that this is the angular four libraries and uh, this there is the same process for angular 2 but uh, it will not be four in case of angular 2 so we have angular 4 animations library installed so now let's go to our source app and first of all open up app.module.ts file so we can see that we have imported other uh, few core libraries in angular 4 we have a separate separate uh, library from which we need to import our animations so for that um, i will write import within the brackets i will write Rows browser animation module and this will be from angular slash platform browser slash animations okay so once we import these libraries we need to add these libraries within our imports array just like uh, we added other libraries 
so I'm going to copy this one browser animations module okay so I'm going to save this file and uh, that was it for this file now let's go and open up our app.component.ts file and inside it we are going to write our animations code we can see that we have a selector uh, so first of all uh, I'm going to add few elements within our HTML file so I'm going to remove the previous written elements that is h1 and I'm going to write div and within this div I'm going to write button and button will be click B and after that I have a paragraph and it has a text look me so what I'm gonna do is if I click on this button I'm going to increase or decrease uh, the size of this text that is within the P element and I will be adding different animations that it will be slowly increasing and decreasing the size but not suddenly okay so let's save this file and I'm going to run my application to see how it looks but uh, before that as it is loading my application I'm going back to my app.component.ts file I'm going to add another uh, property here and that is the style I want to bring these elements at the center of my screen so for bringing uh, these elements at the center of our screen we can write our uh, style property within this component so I'm going to write comma and I'm going to write styles column array and within this array I need to uh, press a character that is on the left side of one digit okay so this is one so I'm going to press enter and here I'm going to define few styles make sure you add this character that is on the top left corner just below the escape sign on your keyboard so within these styles I'm going to select div and I want to bring it at the center so I will write margin zero auto text align center and width is 100 pixels okay so let's first go and reload it and we can see that uh, our uh, elements have been shown up in our web browser page and these are at the center of our screen and if I click on this button it will do nothing because I haven't added any click event on this button uh, be because I need to add few animations and on animation trigger function I need to add a click event on this button so let's go back and uh, let's save this file all the files and let's come back to our app.component.ts file so within we need to import few things before writing our animation code so first of all we need to import trigger and that can be triggered uh, whenever a button is clicked whenever any elements is changed whenever we write uh, anything inside the text box whenever we uh, check any checkbox or a radio button anything we can apply this trigger so this is required for starting the animation and after that we need to add a state and state uh, shows uh, uh, the state of our application the animation uh, like um, at one stage the state of our text is small and other state the state of our text is large so we can have further states so after that we can add a styles and that is required style library we can have a transition and animate so that's pretty much fine for now because this is a pretty basic tutorial so I'm going to write angular slash animations so I'm gonna be using all these things uh, just uh, right now so in order to apply the animation on these elements first of all I need to add our trigger so I will add a comma and I will write animations key and it has an array actually 
okay so make sure you write the same spelling and with that within inside it I'm going to write trigger and the name of my trigger and the name should be meaningful because this will be used uh, for applying this trigger on input on this button element or any other uh, input element okay so I will write my animation and after that I will add array and within this array I need to add states so I will add a state smaller and I'm going to add its style so I will write transform scale 1 And after that I need to copy this one and paste it and I'm going to change the name of this state and that is larger and when it is larger I need to scale it up to 3% okay so that's been done but after this state I need to add a transitions transition um, can be like small less than equals to greater than this is a sign and I'm going to write larger animate within the single quotes I'm going to write 300 ms is in okay and this is not small this is smaller this one okay so I'm going to save this file and let's go back to see if it loads and there is no error right click and go to inspect so there is no error so let's come back to our file and this was all we need to write now we need to add a trigger event on this button and add uh, animation element animation property for this p tag because I want to increase and decrease the size of this p text whenever this button is clicked okay but before that within this class I need to add a function and that will be animate okay and above that I will write a state variable and that is a string and at start it's going to contain smaller and whenever that button is clicked I'm going to change the variable value from smaller to larger and from larger to smaller so I'm going to write this dot state equals to this dot state equals equals and I'm going to write larger if it is smaller otherwise keep the larger okay so that's it I'm going to save this file let's go back to our HTML and I'm going to add that trigger event so I will write a click equals to animate all right and I need to apply that trigger this trigger name uh, to which I want to apply this transition animation okay so I will write and use the square brackets and I will write at my animation let me check if it's like this I'm going to copy this one and paste it and I'm going to end my square brackets and this is going to be equals to state okay so let's save this file let's save this file and let's go back to our browser and I'm going to click out this button and you can see I have clicked out this button it has animated and increased the size of this text if I click on this button again it's going to uh, go back to its smaller state and this is because the two-way direction is because I used this sign if I remove the less than character from this sign 
is going to move one direction. So if I click on it, if I click on it again, it uh, reloaded and um, reversed the size of that text without animation because I removed that character. You can see, and I need to go back and control Z to get back that previous sign. And let's go back and click on it and click back. You can see that the animation is working. So uh, that was a basic um, introduction of animations. And there are some um, advanced level animations like how to change the position, how to apply different uh, sparkle effects. And there are many things that we can apply. We can use uh, frame rates. We can use other um, uh, transformation elements or applying different things. So that was it for this video. I'm going to be talking about later about the advanced animations. So stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe my channel. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe.